from a vacation. I love that. So it's all about just getting your favorite. Okay, now this is also a dragonfly lamp, and we talked about how the dragonfly is iconic mm -hmm. for the Louis Comfort Tiffany uh, lamps. And this is a beautiful replica, and it's the dragonflies on the base? It's on the base yeah. instead of the shade this time. The, so this is a cast piece. I, don't, uh, I think you can come in here close where you can see the dragonflies. Oh, they're gorgeous. Look at that and detail. And then in the background, you've got the mosaic glass. And wow. so it's all hand done again. Each piece is hand cut and fitted in here to fill in the spaces. I think this is so cute, and I like that we've shown a smaller lamp. Yes, uh-huh. I mean, this is so incredibly cute that if you wanted to have a console to show off art, you could have different heights of the Tiffany lamps. You know, not every room demands a large lamp. That's true. And so this, this is, is a great piece that uh, you can put in that special nook or, or um, that special spot off to the side that you could do your reading. And this will have the pull chains as well. So You've cute. You've got the pull chains here. I just love it. And you, so you have the, the beautiful floral motive, uh, uh, you know, beautiful red flowers and orange and pink and turquoise. It's just absolutely stunning. They're All very dainty, so it doesn't overtake the, uh, the dragonfly base so that, uh, you know, the beauty comes out in both pieces. I just love all of this etched in here. And uh, Louis Comfort Tiffany also made bowls that looked just mm -hmm. like this. Yeah, there were, uh, he did have some designs. You know, he had a foundry that he was always experimenting with things. And there were bowls that were done with this design as well. And they almost look identical to what the Dell Tiffany has produced today. I mean, you just don't see uh, the base of a lamp. This is, you know, in no. metal that has this much detail. This All much the detail, etching. yes. Isn't it gorgeous? Mm -hmm. I mean, this is a huge dragonfly on there. It is, yeah, and they go all the way around. You know, the, the thing about Dell Tiffany, or even about the Tiffany lamps, is there's not one side that you want to look at. Mm -hmm. The entire piece is beautiful. Right, that's what is, makes it is beautiful. Form. Yes, it is. Yes, it, it's, it's, it's great. Let's look at the features for you. There are approximately 550 pieces of art. And this is a small lampshade, the smallest one I think we've shown you Yeah, all this morning. is a 16 inch shade. With 550 pieces of art, that lets you know the labor of love that went into this because it's hand cut, hand selected, and strategically placed in the right position to give you this beautiful look of blossoms and greenery. And the metal, the metal base is cast with Tiffany's signature dragonflies that we've talked about. Mm -hmm. So if you want something iconic, that's what um, Louis Comfort Tiffany was known for, the dragonflies, if you collect those. Because you know some people like bees or yes. turtles. If you love dragonflies, this is your lamp. If you just, you know, love Tiffany lamps and you've always wanted one, this is your opportunity to get one where it's affordable and you don't have to break the bank because these replicas are gorgeous. $299.95 is an excellent value for you and you get it home on five flexible payments. You get this home for $59.99. And so when someone walks into your house, they're going to ask you, where did you get that? And they may not even know what type of lamp it is. Mm -hmm. And there's such no. a rich history. If you love nostalgia, you'll be talking about the history of, of Tiffany style lamps because there's so much to it. And you know what wonderful pieces to pass down the generations. I mean, um, my grandchildren even are in love with these. When they come to my house, they want to turn on the lights. Oh yeah, I mean, yeah. this is heirloom quality. It so is. Think of this as an heirloom when you're um, investing in something like this. When you invest in art, it should be as such something that you can pass down. And this is lovely. This is not just an ordinary lamp. This is an artistic expression because of how much labor of love that was put into this. And you just think about Louis Comfort Tiffany and the fact that he used to do stained glass windows and Thomas Edison said, hey, what do you do with all of that stained glass? And he said, oh, nothing, I just throw it away. And he was like, what about making a lamp? <laughs> and voila, that light bulb moment. <laughs> Don't we all know?